Research Bites, a novel approach to PD for library staff. Hello, I'm Hannah, and Claire and I would like to acknowledge and pay our respects to the First Peoples, the traditional custodians of the land where I am today, on Durrug land, and where Claire is, on Wadarun country. ACU Library consists of staff dispersed across seven campuses, working together nationally. Our frontline staff face the challenging task of triaging a wide variety of questions. But how can one be an expert on everything? Research, especially, can seem like a niche and inaccessible subject for staff who don't work directly with researchers. Meanwhile, it is a growing area of focus for the library, presenting a unique professional development opportunity. In answer to this, Claire and I launched Research Bytes in June 2024 our main goal was to fill knowledge gaps and spark interest by providing regular, short bursts of information on a range of topics related to research. Research Bite sessions are held as weekly webinars, covering a different topic each time. We keep the tone informal and fun with no assumed knowledge. The sessions are just 15 minutes, a bite, not a full meal. This means it is not a big time commitment for participants and also ensures that we keep our content nice and concise. They are opt-in. Staff can make it a regular part of their week or just join when the topic interests them. Sessions fall into one of three categories. In a nutshell, which are straightforward explainers on key topics, for example, what are predatory publishers? News Roundup, where we discuss current news and issues, often using a recent media article as stimulus, and Let's Play, interactive sessions where we get participants to play with a tool, such as metrics databases or AI tools. Thanks, Hannah. Early on, we recognised that our library managers needed to be on board with what we were doing so that they could endorse their staff attending sessions. Our research manager is our communications avenue with library leadership team and also supported us through launching the series on our library SharePoint site. Promoting each session is a weekly scheduled activity. When a single post was just not effective enough in bringing in numbers, we reverted to the all library staff calendar invitation to make sure we reached everyone. We need to use plain language for session titles and descriptions when promoting each event. The wording attempts to invite a sense of curiosity and an appeal to staff at their own level of understanding. Our first session was a discussion on the Wiley Hindawi scandal reported by ABC News about the publication of fake science, resulting in 11,000 retracted papers and the closure of 19 journals. We prepared some prompting questions. What did this mean for us in the library? What might be our responsibility, if any? We had a fast and robust discussion in 15 minutes. It opened up a myriad of potential topics for future sessions. Since then, we have had sessions on using an AI tool, namely Elicit, a play with Scopus, a discussion about what motivates researchers, and explainers on read and publish agreements and predatory publishers. To evaluate the impact of Research Bytes, we conduct a quick poll at the end of each session and we'll evaluate in more depth later with an end of year survey. The polls so far have shown interesting results. When we asked participants, how are you feeling about this session? This is what came back. Interested, informed, curious, useful, even wicked and sharp. As facilitators, we are discovering plenty too. Firstly, is 15 minutes too short? Secondly, how do we allow all participants have their say? That there are no shortage of topics, that making our roles more transparent is a good thing, and that our participants now think that research topics are not scary or out of scope for them. What is emerging as we proceed with Research Bytes is that there is a growing community of library staff who are enjoying getting together and learning something new. And Hannah and I, as facilitators, are discovering that our conversations and explorations we are having with staff are scaffolding knowledge and skills in bite-sized pieces. They're easily digestible and we are having a lot of fun in the process. Thank you.